ICS code reader problem the consecutive prime sum so before going into the problem as deeper we uh, recall what is prime numbers as we know the prime numbers are the numbers which is can only divide by one and itself for example 2 and 3 5 7 and 11 13 and then it will be 17 right 17 then it will be 19 and 23 right yeah so these are the example of the prime numbers as we know each of the number can be divided by itself or the number one so none other any number can divide these numbers so that's why these are all called as the prime numbers so now we can go into the problem statement so now we can read the statement of the problem uh, the problem is consecutive prime sum and the statement is some prime numbers can be expressed as some of the other consecutive prime numbers they given the examples as 2 and 3 as the prime numbers and if we add these consecutive two prime numbers then we will get a 5 as a result and that will be a prime number so this is what is called consecutive prime number if we add the consecutive prime number that will give us an another prime number so if this property is satisfied then that will called as the consecutive prime sum another example is 2 3 5 and 7 these are the consecutive prime number if we add these four consecutive prime number we will get the result as 17 also another prime number which means that 17 is the consecutive prime sum and we can go for the manual how it really work as we know that these are some of the prime numbers if we add these consecutive number we will get the number as 5 which is and another prime number right so this is the 5 is said to be the consecutive prime number if we, if we add 2 and 3 and 5 that will give us a 10 right but this is not a prime number so this is not a consecutive prime sum we go for the next if we add 2 and 3 and 5 and 7 we will get result as 17 which means that is also a prime number right so this is a consecutive prime sum if we add by the next prime sum 2 3 5 7 and 11 we will get 28 and that's not a prime number right and further so on if we add the consecutive prime number and if we get the sum as a prime number that is said to be the consecutive prime sum so what they have given in our problem is so what they have required for us to find out is we have to find how many prime numbers which is satisfy these properties which means we have to find how many consecutive prime sum are there in between the range which are given as the input for example if we go if you look at the problem statement here input if we give the input as 20 which means that is the range of the maximum prime number and we will get the output as 2 so if we are at the consecutive prime number 2 and 3 we will get the 5 and 2 3 5 7 we will get 17 if we add the next prime number 11 
that will give us the total sum is 28 that means that is not in our range we have to find how many consecutive prime sum in between the range of the given input that is in below the range of 20 if you are taking us to second input 15 I'm going to show you how we get the one so if you are given the input as the 15 the maximum consecutive prime sum have to below the 15 and we have to find how many consecutive prime sum are in below 15 so if you add up the 2 and 3 we will get a 5 and this is a prime number so we have a, a 1 consecutive prime here right and we are checking if the next is a prime number as we know it will add up to 10 and so that's not a prime number and if we add up the next it will give us 17 but our range is 15 so we can't go up to 17 as our prime sum we have to get in below the 15 so the it will not go higher than here so now we have the 5 is the only consecutive prime number which means we have only one consecutive prime sum here so our output should be 1 so this is how they given the answer output here so before wasting your time I'm going to make the code here and I'm going to do with the code blocks gonna create a new project and gonna save it as uh, prime sum dot cpp make sure you include the header files I will stream for the C++ and using the namespace stg so I'm going to use the main function first of all without using a lot of sub function adding the only main function is enough for this without making any ambiguous so first of all we are going to create some of the integers here in n the, the only required field right now we have to get the n from the user so this is the only maximum required right now first of all we are getting it from the user okay then after getting it and I'm gonna declare the variables called count here to check if the number is prime or not I'm gonna initialize this is zero and the meter deals I and J and also I think we need another integer right here yeah we need another integer called prime sum so what is it here the prime sum is the count of consecutive prime sum can say it count right so this is is going to count how many consecutive prime sum are there and going to print the result right and so so start from the loop i equals no we shouldn't stop from zero start from 3 because I'm gonna initialize another variable called sum sum should be start from 2 because why I'm just making initialize here is the prime number is going to start from 2 and initialize the prime number is 2 and I'm going to 
add the another consecutive the upcoming consecutive prime sum to the sum and check whether it's a prime number or not i less than n and i plus plus should be i'm going with the inner loop to check the prime number for i'm sorry i have initialized i mean i have declared it already so i'm going to initialize it and j it should start from one and it should it should up to n and j plus plus and here we're gonna check whether the number here so these are the real number we are going to check whether the number we are going to check whether the i is divided by j which means we already know that how do we have to mention a prime number which is it could only divide by two numbers i is divided by i'm using here modular modular by j equals equals zero which means i is dividable by j then the count will be increased by one so what it mean is if the count will two right if the count will two then the i is said to be the prime number if the count is more than or whatever instead of two then the ith integer is not a prime number so that's the basic concepts of finding a prime number if the count is equals two then what we gonna do is we're gonna f add the sum equals sum plus what we should add by i we can also do the same thing like sum plus equal i but we don't need it we are going to check if the sum is a prime number right what i'm doing is i'm starting with two and three and adding them adding the prime numbers i'm just checking whether the sum is prime so if the sum is prime i'm gonna add i mean i'm gonna increase the prime sum count by one and i'm so i'm going to do the same thing for the entire thing i'm going to add the existing sum with another next prime number so i'm going to check whether it's a prime number hence it's not a prime number i'm not going to increase the the prime count sum we are going to use the same technique here we are going to declare a new variable it should start from one and it should have go until sum and then who is it and here we are going to check if the sum is a prime number for that we are checking it by if the sum is divisible by any of the k it should count plus plus right so before doing this we should add another constraint here for each iteration the count have to initialize to the zero again and again so then only we will get the uh, 
desired result as output oh my god and at the same like also we have to change the value of the count here to zero and yeah after checking whether the sum is a prime number I mean we have to increase the consecutive prime count we have to increase the consecutive prime count so this is going to be the output of our program so this is prime sum count right that's a lord's name I should be it should be smaller prime sum and sorry count should increase by one so after all of these things we are going to print and we're going to print it in our next line we are going to print how many prime consecutive sums are there the prime sum right let's check if there is any error yeah j was not declared in the scope i was not declared in the scope what happened is yeah we made a syntax mistake here it shouldn't be a semicolon it should be come on and it's asking her if you oh my god there's something error it should give us the two as a output still it giving us a seven yeah <laughs> forget about the constraint here we, we only have to add the count of the consecutive prime number if the count is more equals two right count equals two if only the count equals two then only then only we have to add the prime sum count by one or else it doesn't need to be just we're gonna fix it by if count equals to we're gonna grab it I'm gonna drag here I'm gonna run it again if you give the input as 20 it gives us 2 and if you run it again if you give the input as 15 it will give only 5 I'm sorry it will give only 1 so that's the output we got it and thank you for watching I'll see you on next video don't bother to ask any question thank you for watching see you guys